Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video for what is actually quite a sad video today um, because after nearly two years of this car being the M1 Vortei art car, it is actually time to get it unwrapped. So I'm heading back to Monster Apps, the same people of course who wrapped the car in December 2020. It's a sad day, I fancy a change. Like I said, the car's been wrapped for nearly two years now and so it's time to switch it up. Unfortunately though, the last drive in the bright livery is on a very dull and gloomy day. Just a motorway drive down the M3 and the M27. I'll catch up with you there, show you around the car for one last time before we get it in the workshop and get peeling. So here we are then at Monster Wraps with the car parked in pretty much the exact spot that I first revealed it nearly two years ago. Now you will obviously uh, notice the wheels. These are the same wheels that I had before. However, didn't want them chrome for when the car went back to uh, visually stock. Um, obviously it had them powder coated in gloss black. They do actually really suit the car in gloss black. I actually bought them from a good friend of mine in gloss black and then had them kind of ceramic polished. So even though they did look pretty cool, uh, they were an absolute nightmare to maintain and actually have done in the first place. But yeah, it's gonna be actually really sad to see this go. Um, obviously a whole host of adventures I've done in this car since it was wrapped. Obviously multiple track days, Nürburgring laps, uh, drives in the snow, uh, autobahn runs, and it's gonna be really sad, but I know a lot of you are gonna be happy that this is going. <laughs> I know that whenever I uh, revealed it for the first time, some people really weren't keen, but I thought that the people that didn't really like it didn't know the meaning behind it, of course, paying tribute to the first ever BMW art car from 1975. But yeah, anyway, it's time to get it inside the workshop here at Monster Apps and get it unwrapped. Okay, so as you can see, progress is going pretty well. The bonnet is already completely unwrapped. Now the front wing is next. This is gonna look really nice actually with the matching Esterol Blue uh, calipers and also the gloss black wheels. It would have looked weird if I kept the uh, chrome wheels, but yeah, progress is actually going really rather quickly. Definitely too late to turn back now, definitely. It's actually quite cool to see the shine of paint again to be honest because even though this is a gloss wrap and it is super shiny there's nothing like paint I suppose is there and I think even if we do get a little bit of sunshine it's going to be lovely to see this car again beforehand it did look super clean with the esterol blue with some nice gloss black wheels of course these are different wheels actually to the ones which I had on the car uh, before it was wrapped I did have the 359M replicas which they did look nice they were 18s these are 19s so they do look a little bit better but yeah the difference before and after or should I say before and after I don't know whichever way you want to look at it but yeah things are going actually really rather quickly but of course this is actually quite a labor intense process because some of the panels I think like maybe the lights maybe the bumper we might need to take off just to get we're well, definitely going to take the grills off just to get right inside of course BMW badges off but yeah, it's all happening really rather quickly and it's quite sad to actually see it all happening in front of me. So, progress update. The whole side is pretty much unwrapped. Of course, little things like <laughs> the fuel filler cap, that is coming off, don't worry. Um, and also the rear bumper and the roof as well, which is gonna be quite tricky. And one thing as well, which kind of makes it easier, is this is obviously a printed wrap. So these aren't different layers. This is all one layer, pretty much. Uh, so it's all printed onto one sheet of vinyl, essentially, and then applied rather than say, applying blue, then yellow, then white, then red. Um, so this is all one layer. Um, but yeah, the bumpers, I think probably they're gonna leave till last, because that's, I presume, the bumpers are gonna have to come off. Certainly the things like the diffuser is gonna have to come off, obviously the plates, uh, but on the front especially, of course, you've got the kidney grills and everything like that, which is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, it is kind of oddly satisfying to see all of this coming off, especially when it comes off nicely like that. Super satisfying, and obviously the paint underneath is all absolutely immaculate, like I said in the uh, intro, or earlier on in the video. The car was wrapped on about 10,000 miles, I think, and it's been wrapped for about 20,000 miles uh, after that, so 
yeah, it's all pretty clean under here. Progress is going well, same on the other side as well. Nearly on the whole shot of full Estrel Blue. Okay, right, I've been given the task of giving it a little go myself. So if it goes wrong, I'm to blame. It's only a small little bit. <laughs> Have a look, there we go. Oh yeah, this is super satisfying actually. Around these. Oh, he's fluffed it. Oh no. <laughs> I'm definitely not a professional. Okay, I think, yeah, I've ruined it, mate. You're gonna have to go. <laughs> okay, moving on to the roof. Probably the biggest part, actually, to remove. Probably one of the hardest as well, because you've got to lean right over the car to get right into the middle. But of course, as usual with the other panels, use a bit of heat, ease up the edges, and then just gently peel it off from there. I think we're going from near side to off side. But we'll probably see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this bit's now been taken off correctly, seeing as I messed that up. Obviously really going rather well, actually. We're going to get this taken off because that's just wrapped vinyl uh, black. We get that back to the uh, Estoril blue. But I am going to leave the gloss black sill panels because I think that looks quite nice along with the low-line kit on the car. Of course, bumpers still to do. In fact, I think other than these little bits, then it's just the roof, the bumpers, and then that's pretty much it. I think the mirrors have got to come off so we can get way up in here because this is the bit which takes the time getting all the little bits making sure there's no more vinyl left anywhere you can see little bits up here at the top and then obviously got to go over the car give it a tar and glue remover go over it make sure it's all decontaminated and everything all ready to go out and be enjoyed but it does kind of beg the question of what is well the next wrap really because there are some plans I could go for something pretty out there because obviously it's got some really big boots to fill with how out there this was. And you can see all the different offcuts in here, some red, some yellow, a bit of blue down here as well. So yeah, I mean, we could go for something really rather wild or we could maybe tone it back a bit, go for something a little bit more subtle or in fact, leave it as is with the Estoril Blue. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know down in the description. If you're in this position with a freshly unwrapped M140, what color would you wrap it? So fast forward a little while so the guys can finish off, get the final little bits of vinyl off the car. And so a little time later, we of course have the car back outside all complete. They just had to get a couple of last little bits off, which was a little bit fiddly, so I didn't really want to have a camera stuck in their face. But here we are. The car is completely 100% unwrapped back to Estrel Blue. Actually, I say completely 100% unwrapped. Like I mentioned earlier, we are keeping the gloss black uh, side skirts also the eyebrows and these little canards at the front. I'm keeping those in gloss black just because I don't really like uh, the OEM finish of that. Um, as you can see down here, by the way, this is the remnants of the wrap all screwed up in a big ball. Maybe a little bit sad, but I think I might keep that as a little bit of a memento because it's been a pretty iconic livery on a pretty iconic car. But yeah, let me know your ideas below because obviously things are nowhere near done with this car. Um, I'm thinking maybe to enjoy the S blue for a little while but then maybe switch it up so I'm open to ideas let me know down below but ultimately the art car m140 is no more this is all that's left <laughs> quite sad actually <laughs> but a huge thank you of course to the guys here at monster apps for not only wrapping the car and designing it but also unwrapping it for me today a very labor intense task it's taken virtually all day to get it all done properly um, but yeah I do love this car in its factory color. It is looking actually really, really clean and very, very classy. But yeah, I know some of you are gonna be actually really rather happy that the wrap is gone, but who said I'm not gonna wrap it again? <laughs> But anyway, from me and virtually what's left of the wrap on this car, that is gonna wrap it up. Again, a huge thank you to Monster Apps. You can find all their details down in the description down below. But yeah, as I said, that is it from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.